How to film a spicy hot potato chip commercial. For that, you're gonna need fire, fire, and yes, you guessed right, more fire. This is how I shot this flaming fiery chips commercial. How's it going y'all? It's awesome to see you tune back in. So you guys remember that hot sauce spec commercial I shot about six months ago? The one where I shot this film and sold it to this company afterwards. Well now I got a call from that same company calling me and asking if I'd be interested in filming two commercials for them for their upcoming product launches. One of which is this potato chip commercial. I really hope that this goes to show you that simply filming and passionately creating, you are one step closer landing on the gig you want. So basically, uh, the company is called Popamias and they just came out with these brand new chips and these are hot as fuck. Holy shit. I'm not joking. These are... <gasps> Holy shit. Woo! Mm. Ooh! It is ridiculous. We got cheesy jalapeno and we got hot habanero. It's gonna be a 12 to 15 second commercial that the company is also gonna push out to TV and whatnot. A fast paced, super short commercial. We need to show two different flavors and um, for the past week, week and a half, I've been just planning this shootout and um, today is the day when we start executing. So after getting familiar with our product, it was time to start building visuals around it. I ordered two new backdrops to showcase the color and flavors of her products. If your budget allows you to buy props and new set deco, I highly recommend you to do so. These are just super easy ways to make your films more interesting. Basically, these are the main colors in the film. A split green and a red. So I'm gonna be green and with this, same goes for this one, just red. I'm gonna cut with scissors like a smaller slide of this red, or either way around, and then just tape it right on the green or the other one. So we'll get that nice even split in the middle. By the way, there's been a lot of people asking me where do I have, where do I get my backdrops. It's this brand called BD Backgrounds. I'll leave the Amazon link down in the description box to whoever is interested. So you can just go and click on order from Amazon. This setup was easy to build with gaff tape. Also, doing this already gave me more ideas how I could use this color on color method in my future projects. This also really helped the product and the commercial itself to pop out more. Now, when going into the opening shots, I opened a few bags of chips and placed them on floor right above my camera. Then with full blast, lit every corner of my frame since I was gonna film it with the Bro F-Stop 14. We got a bag of chips and I opened it from the top and bottom as well. And as I yell action, Franz who's behind the camera is gonna open this like so. And when that happens, I'm also gonna, I'm also gonna oh, slide in as the action, front goes to back, and then whew, we go in. And that's our opening shot for this. I bet this is gonna look cool. And um, straight away from the very first shot, I feel like the audience is gonna be like captive, captivated, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> After the chips fall down, we move this slider pullback shot with our split color backdrop showing us our product for the first time. I always feel like it is super important to show your product in your first three shots. And this being a 12 second spot, I wanted to get that brand logo out there straight away to give it more airtime and not just two seconds in the end. We've laid down like six packs of chips on the table here. We're gonna do a slider movement from the close up of the backs, pull back, and right before it goes to its final position, that's when we're gonna flame it up. We're gonna <laughs> we're keep gonna, it flame. We're gonna flame it up. And that's gonna be a transition to the next shot. Kids, don't do this at home. Do not 
do this at home. Friends, I won't. This this goes for you as well. So we're doing the last ending hero shot for these two Bax chips. For that, I went to the supermarket to buy some props. We got jalapenos, we got cheese, because that is what you wanna do. You wanna invest to props and really sell the product that you're filming. Keeping my hero shot nice and simple around the fiery mayhem, I filmed this one in 4K 120 with a tiny pullback movement on my rhino slider. I then continued these individual flavor shots by placing the backs against the different color backdrops and props. After locking down the film's opening and ending shots, it was now time to bring a bit more energy and action to our 12 second commercial with these action heavy stuff just flying around shots. Here I placed my R5 in a bird's eye view angle pointing down. Then I'd simply throw chips and flavors towards the lens while we had flame shooting under and over our flying chips. Uh, we just threw some chips up in the air and uh, because we play with fire I also burnt down my arm hair a little bit and you can definitely smell that inside the studio But the shots are looking good. It's exactly what I was after with the following macro shots I clued a couple of chips on wire to hold them up in front of the backdrop for these shots I chose black for the backdrop since I wanted to pull the attention to these colorful tiny chips and spices flying around And that is it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. By the way, keep sending me your work on IG. I'll be filming a part two to my last week's upload of reacting to your videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again on the next one.